Hello and welcome to this virtual gallery made by Curation. This demonstration will show you some of the features of an interactive gallery and how this technology can help you to share artwork and to make art sales worldwide. In just a moment, you will be able to move around using your mouse and the arrow keys on your keyboard, or if you prefer, you can use a game controller. This version of the gallery is for PC and Mac. We can also develop versions for mobile devices and even virtual reality. If you need more information about the gallery, you can press the I key on your keyboard at any time. When you're ready, approach the reception area ahead of you, where I will introduce the features of the gallery. Just around the corner, you will find the main room of the gallery. It's a fairly simple space with two floors, some interesting architectural features, and a small selection of artwork. This virtual gallery has been designed to show you the high degree of realism and visual quality that is possible with this technology. Before you start exploring, let me introduce some of the features you will find. To approach an artwork, information will be displayed on the screen. In this case, you will usually see the title and the name of the artist, as well as some other options for accessing more information. While standing in front of a work of art, you can press the space bar to find out more about it. The extra information available is different for each piece and may simply be some text, or it may include images, audio introductions or video. Over on the wall, you'll see a vibrant piece of work by Pierre Mondrian. Go and take a look at this now, and when you get there, hit the space key to hear more. When you walk towards each artwork in this gallery, you will only see a small amount of information at first. This is so that you aren't distracted from the viewing experience by unnecessary clutter. If you want to find out more, simply press the space key to show or hide any further information. Another key feature of this technology is the ability to integrate the virtual gallery with an e-commerce website. When you stand in front of an artwork, you can press the Enter key to add it to your online shopping cart. Doing this will open up your default web browser and take you to the shop page, so long as you have an internet connection. This can be set up so that it takes the user to a page on your own website to an artwork that you've put up for sale in the curation shop. Unfortunately, you can't actually purchase this Mondrian, but you can try out the e-commerce feature now to see how it works. Just press Enter and then return to the virtual gallery when you are ready. Welcome to the main room of the gallery, where you can see a selection of abstract work and some portraits. Now is a good time to find out more about each of the pieces on display, listen to some audio introductions, and read up on your favourite pieces. None of the work here is actually for sale, but we've integrated it with our online shop for demonstration purposes. So feel free to give this feature a try, and there's no obligation to buy a Van Gogh. When you've finished exploring the gallery, you can return to the reception area and press C to go to the checkout page in your web browser where you could finalise any purchases you wish to make. I hope you're enjoying the gallery experience so far. On this top floor of the gallery, you will find a small selection of landscape paintings. In a virtual gallery, you have total control over how the artwork and information is displayed. Each piece can easily be resized, repositioned, and it's possible to change the style and finish of the frame, or just remove it altogether. It's also possible to include video installations, sound installations, or sculptural work. There's no limit to the amount of space you have available, there's no need to take the work down, and it's even possible to teleport from one gallery to another, anywhere in the world. This makes it a great way of archiving your artwork and keeping a permanent record of each exhibition you create.
Welcome to the main room of the gallery, where you can see a selection of abstract work and some portraits. Now is a good